our website has become number one raw foods website on the planet in terms of popularity according to the you know all the uh, rating systems on the net why i think because people are sick and tired of the bullshit that's getting spread around the raw food scene or the health food scene fruit's bad for you you can't eat carbohydrates you know gotta eat high fat low carb high protein all this crap people are sick of taking weight loss advice from fat gurus people are sick and tired of infomercials people are sick and tired of people smoking cigarettes and saying you can't you can't eat bananas because bananas are bad and i'm a spiritual woo woo bullshit artist you know i've got a hugo boss suit underneath but i'm really wearing a poncho from the shaman in ecuador i just got high with so people are sick and tired of all this hoo-ha wishy-washy airy fairy whippy snippy crap and they want hard information that's fun, that's sound, it's noble, it's logical, it's easy to, to form a template into your daily life and take it up straight away. One, two, three, four, seven, ten, fifteen bananas, eat them, go. Hungry, do it again. Eat some fruit, eat your greens, boom, loving it. Get your sleep, water, sunshine, exercise, fun. People want that, they're hungry for that. Then again, you've got the other side of the circle where you've got people go, oh, I don't want that because that's no, I want to buy supplements and all these crazy things and live on supplements rather than just take one or two. They want to like, I want to live on them, I want to have a cabinet full of them. People come around and go, look at my supplement range from such and such. So we're into giving tough love, hard truth, honest stuff, being noble, upfront, transparent, helpful. So I think that's why we're becoming number one. And, and Fred Patner said it a few years ago, so you guys are going to go big, man. I was like, really? And he's like, yeah. And it's happening, so... Thanks, Fred, for the for the uh, slap on the back. It's growing every month. I, mean, I just topped out my my Facebook profile. Feels about she's got a second one up, and it's YouTube. It's just in the last month, it's just gone. Whoosh. So people are hungry for the information. Blogs just whoosh. so <laughs> it's getting bigger and bigger every month. How big is it? Maybe you know we're reaching maybe forty thousand people a day. You know, I, I'm getting more emails than I can keep up with. You know, I try and get them all answered, but uh, so if you've got any emails waiting, but I like to get everything back to people. So it might take a while, but it gets done. Well, it's funny, it's the same people saying, don't criticize me, you're attacking. And it's like, hang on, aren't you criticizing and attacking me? Don't judge people. You're self-righteous. Aren't you judgmental and self-righteous in saying that? I encourage people to criticize, verbally attack, not to physical violence. Judge, critically think. The ability to critically think has been lost in our society, especially in the health food movement where all these spiritual woo-woo bullshit speakers get up on stage and go, no judgment, brothers and sisters, hands in the air, kakawi wowie no judgment. But Duran right, I'm going to sue your ass if you give me crap. You know, that's the reality of the situation. Basically, I'm not out here to make friends, so I don't really care who I offend. I'm out here to tell people what they need to hear versus what they want to hear. I'm not out here to impress people. I'm here to say what needs to be said. No one's doing it in the format I'm doing it, so I'm like, hey man, I'll do it, I've got a big ego, I've got a loud mouth, I can run fast, I'm a kickbox or whatever, I'm going to say it, I'm going to speak it, I'm going to say what I mean, mean what I say, those that mind do not matter, and those that matter do not mind, so what I say to people that criticise me, keep criticising, I do it, it's all good man, criticise and judge and do it, just make sure you don't let emotional bullshit come up to prevent you from taking real action in your life, stand up and commit, let nothing stand in your way, Above all, follow your heart and do it. Jealousy, hatred. I, mean, I know people who would like to literally just shoot me. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was saying something the other day. You, 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 you'd shoot me if you could, wouldn't you? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> you know, I know people want to kill me. It's, uh, I why? Because I think we're being a voice for what people don't want to hear. We're being a voice for the, for the voiceless, our animal friends, the planet. We're being a voice and people hate that because people go, oh, I can't do, you can't do that vegan thing. You can't do that raw thing because I tried and I couldn't do it and I'm disciplined. And people are hating that, that we're doing it. Why? Because we're not starving ourselves, you know what I mean? We don't believe in breatharianism. Breatharianism is a load of crap. You see all the raw food gurus who fall off the wagon, the raw wagon or the vegan wagon. And so that's all fanaticism. They still believe in breatharians, man. Eating bananas isn't fanaticism, man. Breatharianism is. I still like to see an objection as a request for more information. So when someone objects, I'm like, here, more info. You know, you might not want it, but you're going to get it from the DR. Well, currently I've got two lawsuits against me. I've got one in the mail from David Wolf and Victoria Skowinskis from the state of Hawaii. So a California <laughs> law and Hawaii law. I should do a, a doco, Hawaii 5 or something like that. Or California, San Diego. And uh, why am I very vocal? Because... 
these gurus were my gurus back in the day, and when I got into raw foods, I was like, yeah, wow, well, this is pretty cool, you know, all airy-fairy. These dudes are hucksters, man, and I'm ex I'm lifting up the these ponchos and spiritual guru Dungeons & Dragons fantasy catalog warehouse outfits. I'm ex lifting those up and go, hey, look, these guys are wearing Hugo Boss business suits underneath. And the audience is going, whoa. And these these gurus just hate it, man. Because I'm exposing them from the frauds of the hucksters and slicksters and snake oil crew they are. And if these people were really the kind, gentle, considerate, you know, people that they claim to be, they'd be going, hey, doing right, that's really cool. You're doing great on fruit and vegan. And wow, that's really cool. How are you doing that? None of these people up, give a fuck, man. They don't ask questions. They don't ask Doug questions. How are you doing? This is really cool. You're really fit for your age, Doug. You're 57, whatever. You know, you, how are you doing this? They don't care. They want us out, man. They want us away from this whole thing. They're so into control and like, you know, like, you can't be a vegan. You can't be raw. you got to do it this way and all these superfoods and powders and canisters of bullcrap because these people, you know, money-driven, Power driven, I don't know. You know, I don't hate them, but I definitely hate the information they give. I hate the results people get when they follow the information. The starvation, anorexic, breatharian, carb phobic, fruit phobic, vegan phobic. I've got to kill it. You know, I've got to have plates of horror three times a day to have any strength because there's no such thing as a vegan bodybuilder. There's no such thing as the raw vegan athletes and runners and cyclists and dancers and swimmers and triathletes. No such thing. So that's why I'm vocal, man. And, you know, other people aren't calling them out, so I'm going to call them out. I don't go to sleep going, oh my god, I got a lawsuit from David Wolf. My life's a tra tragedy. I like, <laughs> I find it entertaining because it's good because it exposes what these people's intentions are. So I, I'm all about transparency. It's all fun, man. It's all good. It's just the internet. It's just, you know, information. I'm, I don't take it personally. I don't really sleep over it. I'm not stressing out. And, uh, you know, I know they are. I know David Wolf had a personal bodyguard within the whole Australian tour, and the information was strictly that Duran Ryder is not allowed in any of. They had a photo of me apparently, and <laughs> I'm not allowed to any of David Wolf's talks. You know, it's like because apparently I threatened his life, which is bullshit. I wouldn't hurt Dave, man. Like popularity. I mean, a lot of people. I'm getting emails, like confidential emails. People say, well. You know, I'm glad you're speaking up, Harley, because this happened to me. You know, such and such did this to me. You know, I was sexually harassed by such and such. Um, I, I, was, I owed money by such and such. I um, got bad advice from such and such. I lost my teeth following such and such advice. Um, I'm fat because I'm such and such advice. I've got a drug addiction now. You know, I'm back on drugs or, you know, things like that. So it's uh, popularity, you know, good because I've finally got someone, a whistleblower in the, in the community who's... I'm over people saying, oh, well, professionalism, you know, professionalism, like, fuck professionalism if people's health is going down, man. Speak up. Be honest, truthful, noble. You don't have to punch people in the face, but you can be punchy in your communication style and get information out there, you know what I mean? So that's what I'm doing. I'm not going to wait for anyone else to do it. I'm going to go, boom, that needs to be filled. I'm in the gap. I'm filling it, and it's doing great. But so as long as I've got enough money, I don't need more money, man. I need to help more people. So if I've got enough money for my bananas and a, a bike tire and a, a sleeping bag and a tent or whatever, I'm good. I don't want to have a lot of money, but I want to have a massive impact, and I'm having that now. So how do I feel like the role outspoken more anarchist? Great. I love it, man, because it gives me purpose every day. Helping people, helping the animals, helping the planet. Awesome. Help the gurus help themselves.